We're very excited and happy to have with us today our Under Secretary General for Economic and Social Affairs, Mr. Wu Hongbu. Thank you so much, Mr. Wu, for joining us today and for speaking with SNUs. News. As this year comes full circle, can you share with us some of the main achievements gained within the areas of social, economic and sustainable development? Well, thank you very much, Helen. And uh, as you mentioned, we are approaching to the end of this year. If we look back to the year 2013, it is a year of, uh, as shall I say, full of achievements. And I'm very proud of the colleagues of my department. Uh, there are a lot of things I've achieved over the past 12 months. Uh, however, there are something really stand out. First is the um, Forum on Forest. And that was a very important one. It's the first time that the participants in the forum actually discussed the financing for sustainable forest management. And second example I would like to say is the IGF. IGF is the Internet Governance Forum. And this year's meeting was well attended, and the participants discussed how the Internet and relevant ICTs technology could serve the future sustainable development agenda. And the third would be the high-level meeting on disability and development. Um, what I would like to say is that the member states are discussing disability inclusive arrangement for post-2015, which is very important. Another one is the high-level dialogue on migra international migration and development. This is the second time that such high-level dialogue on migration taking place within the framework of United Nations. The member states were discussing the implications of the international migration and the relevant um, suggestions relating to post-2015. Um, also, this year has been very busy with the uh, President of the General Assembly. We had uh, PGA's uh, special event on MDG last uh, September. It was very important um, in that it promoted the awareness of the heads of the states to implement further the MDG commitment and also gave the ideas to the member states, in particular head of states, head of governments, the way forward towards the sustainable development agenda. Um, I would not do justice to our work um, if we do, I do not mention the two important intergovernmental processes as a result of the implementation of Rio Plus 20 follow-up. One is open working group on sustainable development goals. The second is committee of experts on the financing for sustainable development. These two intergovernmental pro processes are well underway and discussions has been very productive, and uh, we are looking forward to the fruitful results uh, emerging from the discussions. Um, in addition to that, I, I should remember that one of the outcome of Rio Plus 20 is the establishment of the high-level political forum. That has been uh, established and had its inaugural session last September. It will concern itself with the discussions and debates 
on the monitoring and implementation of future sustainable development goals. We had a very busy year and we are very grateful, in particular myself, to all the directors and the colleagues in DESA. Without their hard efforts, we could not have been where we are today. Are there any specific moments or events during 2013 that you will especially remember? Well, uh, that's a challenge because I've been to many uh, important events. They are all very important and memorable. Um, what I would like to say is the um, PGA's special event on MDGs. That was very, very important because uh, although we have achieved a lot in implementing MDGs, but still we have a, a lot more to do. For instance, the eradication of poverty. And in addition to that, I think I should um, mention some of the areas which are not in the spotlight in our work. For instance, the statistics. And the statistics division has been doing a good job because they are providing the basis for discussions for future sustainable development agenda. The statistics, statistics should be on a solid basis. And also they are expanding their work to the geospatial information, which is a new move of a revolution nature. And secondly, I would like to say that the capacity building or capacity development is also very important in my, in my department. Uh, we have been doing quite a lot to help uh, the member states and other organizations. Thirdly is the high quality analytical work. We have uh, quite a few flagship uh, publications. They are influential, they remain high quality, and they're very popular. And also, we support the civil societies. During the uh, important high-level events, as I mentioned before, we're trying to make uh, the opportunities available as much as possible to civil so societies to get involved. That has been uh, greatly appreciated. Um, what I would like to say is to serve the development issues together with all my colleagues, over 500 of them, is really a pride for me. And I think I can not find uh, even better colleagues to work with. As we soon welcome a new year, which will, for example, feature the UN Conference on Small Island Developing States in Samoa in September. What are your hopes for 2014? Well, looking forward, thinking about next year, you will find we will have a lot of things to do. You rightly mentioned the SEEDS Conference. As the Secretary General for SEAS Conference, I've been through all the um, preparation process so far. And I think next year we'll be very busy because the General Assembly has already adopted modality resolutions. The global negotiation will begin as soon as possible. Um, that will keep many of the uh, colleagues and also the member states busy until uh, early September next year. What I hope is that uh, the seats as a um, vulnerable group would be able to stand up and uh, voice their concerns. And it's good timing for them to do so because by 
September next year, hopefully, the Open Working Group will come up with this set of a sustainable development goals. And that is only one thing. And second important subject for my department is that uh, the member states have mandated the Secretary General to produce synthesis report on the post-2015 development agenda next year. Um, not only summarizing uh, where we, we will be stand by then, but also suggest a way forward. This is a very heavy responsibility. Thirdly is the high-level summit on climate change. That uh, summit is not a summit for negotiation. It is designed to mobilize the political wills of heads of states, heads of governments, and try to catalyze the actions on the ground um, in dealing with the climate change. And also, we are going to have a world conference in coming September on indigenous people. In addition to all that, we have a very busy schedule um, given by the President of the General Assembly. We are going to have uh, three high-level meetings and uh, three thematic debates, one stock-taking session. So you will see every big event in every month, starting from uh, uh, January next year. We are going to have a set of sustainable development goals. We are going to have recommendations for financing of sustainable development agenda. And we are going to have the outcome of United Nations Seeds Conference. And we are going to conclude the summit on climate change and also the, the International Conference Indigenous People. So we will be very busy. And next year is also of vital importance if we are going to have a successful international uh, sustainable development agenda by September 2015. So I'm full of hope. And I know the road ahead full of a challenge. And I'm confident that my colleagues and I are fully prepared for the challenge. Uh, we will um, discharge our mandates as given by the member states, by the General Assembly, and do whatever we can uh, to make our work success next year. Thank you so much, Mr. Wu, for joining us and for speaking with Dessa News about an upcoming and eventful 2014. Many thanks. Thank you.